Welcome. Today we are going to show QC add-on, which is developed by Kabir team. For the QC add-on, there are some configuration part. There is a quality management configuration. In this screen, we will configure that at which screen or stage we have to make the QC, like ZRPO, receipt from production, delivery, inventory transfer, AR credit memo, good receipt. And also we have to define inventory transfer series which will be used by the system during the QC process. So this is the QC module configuration. To start the QC module, there is a when checkbox on item master that QC required. This is the checkbox QC required. If the QC is required for the item, then we have to check this. And then some QC masters are there. The one is parameter master. In this screen, we will define the parameter like parameter code, parameter name, their type, numeric or visual, the unit of measurement, the equipment code by which this parameter will be measured during the QC process. And then we will map parameters with the item like for MS flat 4 into 40 item, we have defined two parameter thickness and width will be measured during the GRPO stage. And their minimum standard and maximum value we have defined for both the parameters. Also sample size is also defined here that how much sample we will check during the QC process. There are Two more master one is rejection code we can define rejection code and rejection reason to standardize the rejection reason this is the rejection code master and the one more master is equipment master in this screen we can define the qc equipments which will use the qc process so this is the master part of the quality check now we'll do a QC transaction we'll make a purchase order I'll select a vendor select a item the quantity and add this sorry and add this purchase order now <clears throat> we'll make a zrpo the store person will make the zrpo entry and the qc request will generate for the qc department select the po as user will add the grpo system is asking for batch number let's say 369 is a batch number as user will add the ZRPO QC request will generate automatically for the QC department the QC department can check their pending request here he can view all the pending request or he can select the transaction wise now we have to view the grpo pending request this is our request number three for the item for the quantity 500 this is pending status now we'll have to do inspection so we will change its status to the under inspection we will update the status now we'll go to the under inspection status request this is our QC request for which we have to do the quality check system will pick up all the information like vendor code item code sample size batch number quantity automatically now user have to do the observed value entry it is 3.994 and 
let's say 4.2 and it is width is 40 40 and 40 all the three samples QC specter will add the transaction as you can see this value is greater than from the defined range minimum standard maximum value so this is red in color also system send this QC request for the disposition by the senior person the senior person can view the pending request for disposition this is the pending request for the disposition he will change the status under disposition and I will move to the under disposition request and system will pick all the data for disposition from the QC transaction all the values all the details so here are the four disposition type accepted rejected parcel accepted or uh, accepted under deviation so we'll take parcel accepted let's say 370 is the accepted 130 is the rejected and reason is oversize so we'll add the disposition transaction so qc is done for the item now we can view incoming qc report select the date select the request number and this is the incoming qc report inspection date base document number vendor code item code item batch number inspector name the quantity sample size accepted quantity and rejected quantity and all the parameters and their standard and observed value we have one query report for the analysis incoming inspection report will take data for a date range we can select vendor also so this is the incoming inspection report in this report grpo number grpo date qc transaction number vendor invoice number vendor code vendor name item details their quantity their batch number and accepted and rejected quantity rejection percentage is also there so we can do analysis for a particular party for a particular item in a given date range so this is the qc process for incoming same process is for finished goods and PDI predispatch inspection. Thank you. Thank you for today.